New study has found that the stakes of the, the, the gap, the graduation rate between poor and the wealthy students are just is, is ridiculous. Right? The new study released last week provided a detailed look at graduation rates of low-income college students. And many colleges, low-income students graduate at a much lower rate than, high, than their higher-income peer, pairs. Excuse me. For example, at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, only 35% of Pell Grant recipients graduated college, a rate that is 20 percentage points lower than their wealthier peers. At St. Andrews, a liberal arts college in North Carolina, only 13% of Pell Grant recipients graduated, more than 50%, more than 50 percentage points lower than people who did not receive the Pell Grants. The study found that 51% of Pell Grant graduates graduate nationwide compared to 65% of non-Pilgrim graduates. Now, that's an interesting study. Um, now, I know the logical argument they're going to make. They're going to make, well, it's because people who have Pell Grants probably, quote unquote, aren't prepared to learn, or people in Pell Grants, it's because they, they're not paying for it, so that means that, you know, they care less about it. And I don't think either of those arguments are true. I actually feel as though this, there's this, right? We know that poverty is an indicator for a lot of things. So they've graduated high school, now they're in college. Are they prepared for college life? Are they getting the family supports they need? Are the university to find the supports they need to, to achieve and uh, to excel and achieve those dreams, right? Not to mention the fact that Pell Grants don't cover the entirety of your college career. So in all likelihood, if you're on a Pell Grant, that means you're also taking out loans, a lot of loans. And when you're taking out a lot of loans, there comes time where you sort of, like, at some point in time, the Pell Grant's not going to cover. And you're like, well, listen, I can't afford to go to school this semester because my Pell Grant, my tuition is $10,000, my Pell Grant's $4,000, I have a $6,000 gap. And nobody can help me pay for it. You see what I'm saying? So, like, I think if you look at these numbers and you just take them as is, where it says, well, rich kids have more supports and they have better education, so they graduate better. When it is, there's a lot of other pieces to this that I think we need to consider. I'm just saying. I like to lift up the pieces that matter.